you going to take? Well, I... But where? Hazel, I made a reservation for only two. Oh, but it... In the early 1960s, the TV show Hazel was created and needed to find the right actors to bring the characters to life. The casting process was a crucial step in ensuring the show's success. Shirley Booth, a well-known stage and film actress, was the first to be cast as Hazel Berg, the efficient and lovable housekeeper. Booth had already won a Tony Award for her role in the play Comeback, Little Sheba, and the producers thought she would be perfect for the part. Booth was initially hesitant to take on a TV role, but after reading the script, she was convinced. The role of George Baxter, Hazel's employer, was given to Don DeFore. DeFore was a seasoned actor who had appeared in numerous TV shows and films. He was chosen for his ability to portray a likable and relatable character, which was essential for the role of George Baxter. The chemistry between Booth and DeFore was evident from the start, and the producers knew they had found the right actors for the parts. The supporting cast was also carefully selected, with actors chosen for their ability to bring depth and humor to their roles. One of the most memorable characters in Hazel was Harold Baxter, George, and Dorothy's son. The role was played by Bobby Buntrock, who was just 10 years old when he was cast. Buntrock's audition was a standout, and the producers knew he was the right choice for the part. The casting process for Hazel was thorough and thoughtful, with each actor chosen for their ability to bring depth, humor, and relatability to their roles. The result was a beloved TV show that resonated with audiences and left a lasting impact on television history. What did you want to see us about, darling? Yeah. The same old subject, Claude. He's getting his notice tomorrow. The director of the 1961 TV series Hazel, William D. Russell, brought a unique vision to the show. He was influenced by his background in directing live television and his experience working on popular series like Father Knows Best. Russell's style was characterized by a warm, inviting atmosphere that made viewers feel like they were part of the story. To achieve this, Russell worked closely with the cast and crew. He encouraged the actors to fully embody their characters resulting in memorable performances from stars like Shirley Booth as the lovable housekeeper Hazel. Russell also collaborated with the show's writers to ensure that each episode's script served the overall vision of the series. Russell's approach to directing Hazel was also influenced by his interest in visual storytelling. He used camera angles, lighting, and set design to create a rich, detailed world that viewers could get lost in. Russell's attention to detail and commitment to creating a cohesive visual style helped Hazel stand out from other sitcoms of the time. Overall, William D. Russell's directorial vision for Hazel was instrumental in bringing the show to life. His collaborative approach, visual storytelling, and commitment to character development helped create a beloved series that continues to be enjoyed by audiences today. I guess I just wanted to have fun. Well, it's too late now. Well, why is it too late, Hazel? Oh. Hazel is a classic TV series that first aired in 1961, featuring a wise and witty housekeeper named Hazel Burke. The show's enduring qualities, such as its humor, art, and timeless themes, have made it a beloved symbol of the television industry. Throughout the series, viewers are treated to a range of emotions, from laughter to tears, as they follow Hazel's adventures in the home of the Baxter family. One particularly memorable moment from Hazel is when Hazel enters a pie baking contest and ends up winning first place. This moment showcases Hazel's determination, kindness, and culinary skills, and it has had a lasting impact on many viewers. Do you have a favorite scene or memory from Hazel? We'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Whether it's a hilarious one-liner, a touching moment between characters, or a memorable life lesson, we're sure that your story will bring a smile to our faces. Together, let's celebrate the enduring legacy of Hazel and the many ways in which it has touched our lives. From its unforgettable characters to its timeless themes, this classic TV series continues to resonate with audiences today. So stay tuned because there are many more funny, shocking, and sad facts coming up that will give you a deeper appreciation for this beloved show. Dad. <laughs> I don't mean to embarrass you, son. It's a pretty wonderful discovery. The 1961 TV series Hazel was filmed primarily in Hollywood, with the interiors of the Douglas House being recreated on sound stages at Dazilly Studios. 
The set design was meticulously crafted to resemble a comfortable suburban home, complete with a living room, kitchen, and backyard. The production team paid close attention to detail, ensuring that every prop and piece of furniture was true to the show's time period. Locations for exterior shots were carefully selected to match the show's setting in the fictional town of Mapleton. The production team chose homes and businesses in the Los Angeles area that had the desired look and feel of a small suburban town. One of the logistical challenges of filming Hazel was coordinating the schedules of the large cast and crew. With over 100 people working on the show, it was a complex undertaking to ensure that everyone was available for filming on the same days. The production team also had to manage the filming schedule carefully to allow for sufficient time to set up and break down the various sets. To streamline the production process, the show's producers employed a number of innovative techniques and technologies. For example, they used a multi-camera setup to film the show, which allowed them to capture multiple angles at once and reduce the amount of time needed for filming. They also used a new type of film that allowed for faster processing, which helped to speed up the editing process. Another innovative technique used in the production of Hazel was the use of pre-recorded music. Rather than hiring a live orchestra for every episode, the show's producers used pre-recorded music tracks to accompany the scenes. This allowed them to save time and money while still providing high-quality music for the show. Overall, the production of Hazel was a complex undertaking that required careful planning, coordination, and the use of innovative techniques and technologies. Despite the challenges, the show was a success, running for five seasons and becoming a beloved classic of American television. Worry about. To worry about. There, now you see, she's doing fine. I ain't got... The television series Hazel aired 154 half-hour episodes from 1961 to 1966, initially on NBC and later on CBS. The show was popular among baby boomers, but unfortunately, none of the four main actors are still alive. The story revolves around George Baxter, a successful yet clumsy attorney, played by Don DeFore, and his wife Dorothy, portrayed by Whitney Blake. They have a young son named Harold, played by Bobby Buntrock. George's wife, Dorothy, was known for her tight skirts, high heels, and an enviable bust to waist ratio, making her one of the most attractive 1960s television wives. However, it is Hazel, the family's nanny and housekeeper, played by Shirley Booth, who runs the show. She is a competent and assertive character who often outshines George, causing frustration and conflict. Hazel's meddling and incessant interference in the Baxter family's life often lead to chaos, making her a more challenging house guest than Amos McCoy. In the final season, the producers moved George and Dorothy to Saudi Arabia, and Hazel and Harold moved in with George's younger brother Steve, his wife Barbara, and their daughter Susie. Despite Steve, Barbara, and Susie being one of the most attractive families on television, Hazel soon took over their household as well. The popular theory at the time was that George and Dorothy made up the Saudi story to escape Hazel's domination, and regained some independence. However, Hazel's influence was so strong that she even took over Steve, Barbara, and Susie's household, despite their initial resistance. In summary, Hazel was a popular 1960s television series that revolved around the life of a successful yet clumsy attorney, George Baxter, and his family. The show's main character, Hazel, was a competent and assertive nanny who often outshone George, causing frustration and conflict. Despite the show's popularity, none of the four main actors are still alive, and the show is now considered a dead man walking in the world of television. Do you know what these are? Well, of course, those are earphones. This. The creation of a film score and soundtrack is a crucial aspect of storytelling as it enhances the narrative and emotional tone of the production. In the case of the 1961 TV series Hazel, the music played a significant role in setting the mood for each episode. Composer John Green, who was well known for his work on television shows during the 1960s, created the score for Hazel. Green's music was designed to complement the show's warm and humorous tone, providing a subtle backdrop that enhanced the on-screen action without overpowering it. The soundtrack for Hazel featured a mix of popular songs from the early 1960s, as well as original compositions by Green. The music was carefully selected to reflect the show's setting and to enhance the emotional arcs of the characters. 
For example, upbeat songs might be used to underscore a happy moment, while a more melancholic tune might accompany a sad scene. According to Green, the key to creating an effective score is to understand the emotional tone of the scene and to craft music that supports and enhances that tone. This often involves experimenting with different instruments, melodies, and rhythms until the right musical voice is found. Musicians involved in the creation of the Hazel score and soundtrack have spoken about the importance of collaboration in the process. Green worked closely with the show's directors, producers, and actors to ensure that the music aligned with their vision for the series. This collaborative approach helped to create a cohesive and engaging musical landscape that added depth and richness to the show. In the end, the music for Hazel served as a powerful storytelling tool, helping to bring the characters and their experiences to life in a way that was both memorable and emotionally resonant. Through the use of carefully crafted melodies and rhythms, Green and his fellow musicians were able to create a musical tapestry that complemented the narrative and deepened the viewer's connection to the world of Hazel. Government contract? Yes, sir. And if you don't get to Egan before Monday morning, he'll close a deal with someone. The TV series Hazel, which aired in 1961, was based on the cartoons of Ted Key that were featured in the Saturday Evening Post magazine. The show's setting, the house where Hazel and the Baxters lived, has an interesting history of its own. It was also used in the TV sitcom Gidget, the musical Bye Bye Birdie, and the Lethal Weapon movie franchise. The house is located on Blondie Street in Warner Ranch, Burbank, which has been the filming location for many other TV shows and movies. Bobby Buntrock, who played the role of the Baxter's son, had a notable career as a child actor. After Hazel, he appeared in two episodes of The Virginian in 1967. Sadly, his life was cut short when he died in an auto accident in South Dakota at the age of 21. It's worth noting that Blondie Street was also the filming location for other popular TV shows such as Bewitched, Father Knows Best, The Partridge Family, I Dream of Jeannie, and The Donna Reed Show. The entire block was used in the 1998 movie Pleasantville to depict an idealized TV neighborhood. No sleeping beauty yourself and you ain't getting no younger. <laughs> Hazel, I wish you'd forget about Pablo. One of the most iconic scenes in Hazel, the 1961 TV series, is the episode titled The Ransom of Red Chief. In this episode, Hazel, the housekeeper, is left in charge of the Baxter household, and she must deal with the mischievous antics of the Baxter children, who decide to kidnap their own father for a day. The direction in this scene is impeccable, with the camera angles and movements highlighting the comedic timing of the actors. The scene where the children present their ransom note to their father, Harold, is particularly well executed. The camera focuses on the children's faces, capturing their excitement and nervousness, while also showing Hazel's amusement in the background. The performances in this scene are also noteworthy. Shirley Booth, who plays Hazel, delivers a hilarious performance, showcasing her comedic timing and ability to react to the chaos around her with humor and grace. The child actors, including Bobby Buntrock, who plays Harold Baxter Jr., also deliver solid performances, capturing the mischievousness and playfulness of childhood. The cinematography in this scene is also impressive, with the use of close-ups and wide shots to capture the action and reactions of the characters. The set design of the Baxter household is also well utilized with the use of shadows and lighting to create a warm and inviting atmosphere. The impact of this scene on the audience is significant as it showcases the comedic and heartwarming nature of the Hazel series. The scene resonates with viewers as it highlights the joys and challenges of family life as well as the importance of humor and playfulness in dealing with difficult situations. According to series director William D. Russell, the Ransom of Red Chief was one of his favorite episodes to direct, as it allowed him to showcase the comedic talents of the actors and the creativity of the writing team. He also noted that the use of children in the scene added an extra layer of humor and charm as it highlighted the mischievousness and innocence of childhood. In conclusion, the iconic scene from Hazel's The Ransom of Red Chief episode is a testament to the comedic and heartwarming nature of the series. With its impeccable direction, memorable performances, and impressive cinematography, the scene resonates with viewers and showcases the joys and challenges of family life. And the theater. And daddy's is gardening. Oh, that farm will keep us busy from now on. Whitney Blake, the actress who played Dorothy Baxter on Hazel, 
was married to a man named Baxter in real life and had three children with him, one of whom was Meredith Baxter. Meredith later became a TV wife and mother in the 1980s sitcom Family Ties. The vocal version of Hazel's theme song was used in the first eight episodes, but from episode nine onwards, only the instrumental version was played. Hazel was the first situation comedy to be broadcast in color, although the first season was filmed in black and white. The remaining four seasons were produced in color, starting in the autumn of 1962. Oh, Gus, up too. You going with us? Oh, I wish I could, but I have to meet a client at the lamp shop. Oh, Rosie says... The 1961 TV series Hazel, based on a popular comic strip, made a significant cultural and social impact. It resonated with audiences due to its relatable characters and wholesome humor, making it one of the top-rated shows of the time. Hazel, played by Shirley Booth, was a lovable, wisecracking housekeeper who offered advice and help to the Baxter family. Audiences connected with Hazel's nurturing yet straightforward personality, which provided a comforting presence in their living rooms each week. The series influenced pop culture by popularizing the housekeeper as family member trope which continued to appear in various forms of media. Additionally, Hazel's iconic look, complete with her trademark apron and sensible shoes, became instantly recognizable and inspired fashion trends. Hazel also contributed to discussions on relevant social and cultural themes. It showcased a strong, working woman who was both competent and compassionate, challenging traditional gender roles. Furthermore, the series featured diverse characters, including African-American actors in supporting roles, which was relatively progressive for the time. In summary, Hazel left a lasting impact on audiences and pop culture, offering a comforting and entertaining viewing experience while subtly addressing social issues. He'll retire and go on full pension next week. Are you satisfied? Oh, I'm satisfied. If Shirley Booth, the actress who played Hazel, went on to voice Mistress Santa Claus in the 1974 film The Year Without a Santa Claus. In the TV series, Hazel was the president of a sorority of maids called the Sunshine Girls. The opening credits of Hazel underwent changes, with the song reaching a climax each time Whitney Blake appeared with her name displayed flamboyantly. These details add depth to the show, highlighting the cast's accomplishments and the unique elements of its production. Three. And his 50. Well, thank you, Hazel. Shall I wrap it up? You bet. The 1961 TV series Hazel, an adaptation of the popular Ted Key cartoon strip, received positive reviews from critics and audiences alike. The show, which starred Shirley Booth as the efficient and meddling housekeeper Hazel Burke, was praised for its humor, charming performances, and relatable family dynamics. Critics appreciated the show's ability to balance humor and heart with the New York Times noting that Hazel has a warm, human touch that makes it one of the more appealing shows on the air. The series also resonated with audiences who appreciated the lovable characters and relatable situations. Hazel was nominated for several awards during its run, including multiple Primetime Emmy Awards for Outstanding Comedy Series and Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series for Shirley Booth. Booth won the Emmy for Lead Actress in 1962 marking her third Emmy win in that category. The show's success at the Emmys was a testament to the quality of the series and the strength of Booth's performance. The awards and nominations that Hazel received were significant for those involved in the show as they recognized the hard work and talent that went into making the series. The Emmy wins and nominations in particular were a mark of prestige and helped to solidify Hazel's place in television history. Overall, Hazel's critical reception and awards speak to the show's enduring appeal and its impact on television comedy. The series remains a beloved classic and its legacy continues to be celebrated by audiences and industry professionals alike. During its initial run, the TV series Hazel from 1961 was sponsored by the Ford Motor Company for its first four seasons. This sponsorship led to Ford cars being prominently featured in the show, with the Baxter's family cars always being Fords. In fact, Hazel was one of the first shows to showcase the newly introduced Ford Mustang in the spring of 1964. Shirley Booth, who played the titular character, had a successful career in both film and television. 
She is one of only three actresses to have won an Academy Award for Best Actress and an Emmy for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series. The other two actresses are Loretta Young and Helen Hunt. Don DeFour, who played Mr. Baxter, appeared on the cover of the October 6, 1962 issue of TV Guide with Shirley Booth. DeFour's portrayal of the affable and good-natured Mr. Baxter provided a perfect counterbalance to Booth's no-nonsense and quick-witted Hazel. Overall, Hazel was a groundbreaking and influential TV series that left a lasting impact on popular culture. Its memorable characters, witty dialogue, and timeless humor continue to resonate with audiences today. Uh, would you uh, like to play cards or something, Uncle Jerome? During the filming of Hazel, the 1961 TV series, the set was always filled with laughter and good cheer, especially when the show's star, Shirley Booth, was around. Known for her warm personality, Booth would often entertain the crew with her hilarious impersonations between takes. The show's director, William Asher, was also a fascinating character. He had a unique way of directing, often using hand signals and whistles to communicate with the actors. This unconventional approach kept everyone on their toes and added to the jovial atmosphere on set. One of the most memorable moments during the production of Hazel involved a scene where Booth had to carry a heavy tray of food. Unable to lift it herself, the prop department created a hidden compartment in the tray that allowed a crew member to assist Booth discreetly. This clever solution allowed the scene to be filmed seamlessly and it remains one of the show's most beloved moments. Despite the lighthearted atmosphere, the cast and crew of Hazel took their work very seriously. They were dedicated to creating a high-quality show that would entertain and delight audiences, and their hard work paid off. Hazel became a massive hit, and its legacy continues to this day. Through it all, the cast and crew of Hazel remained a tight-knit group, forming lifelong friendships and creating a show that will be remembered for generations to come. I either shop or go to a matinee. And I noticed today that that new picture Harold and I have been talking about has arrived. In the opening credits of Hazel, the family's home, the Stephen House, is visible along with a church in the distance. However, a major fire in 1970 destroyed the church, and it was later rebuilt further away from the house. Don DeFore, who played George Baxter, was replaced in the show's final season by Ray Fulmer, and the character was said to have been transferred to Saudi Arabia for business reasons. In the French version of the show, Hazel's name was changed to Adele, and the series was titled the same. The show only lasted for five seasons before it was canceled. Despite its cancellation, Hazel remains a memorable series for many. It's George's taste that I admire, and after all, he picked Dorothy. Oh, well, thank you, both. The 1961 TV series Hazel, based on a popular comic strip, holds a significant place in television history. Starring Shirley Booth as the wise and witty housekeeper Hazel Burke, the show introduced a new kind of domestic comedy. Its realistic portrayal of a working class character and its focus on the interplay between social classes were groundbreaking for its time. Hazel's influence can be seen in numerous sitcoms that followed particularly those featuring strong female leads and exploring class dynamics. The series paved the way for shows like The Nanny, starring Fran Drescher, and even modern day comedies like Skits Creek, where a wealthy family must adjust to life in a small town. Moreover, Hazel played a crucial role in launching Shirley Booth's successful television career. After a successful run on Broadway and in films, Booth's portrayal of Hazel earned her two Emmy Awards and solidified her status as a talented and versatile actress. The series also inspired a made-for-TV movie in 1978, further attesting to its lasting impact. Additionally, reruns of Hazel continue to air, allowing new generations to enjoy its clever humor and insightful social commentary. In summary, Hazel left an indelible mark on television history through its groundbreaking depiction of class dynamics, strong female lead, and influence on future sitcoms. The series remains a testament to the enduring appeal of well-crafted comedy and continues to resonate with audiences today. Would that give you enough time? Yes, yes, Hazel, that would. But what if you can't keep them apart? The family in the 1961 TV series Hazel carries the surname Baxter, which is also the name of Whitney Blake's first husband and the father of her real-life daughter, Meredith Baxter. 
The exterior of the Baxter family home is noteworthy as it is the same one used in the Lethal Weapon films. George, the husband in the series, works for Butterworth, Noel, Hatch, and Baxter, a law firm. This information provides a glimpse into the behind-the-scenes connections and details that went into creating the show. If I sit here much longer, you can just pour plaster of Paris on me and send me to the wax museum. Would you hurry? We got no place. In the 1961 TV series Hazel, a shocking event occurred when actor Don DeFore, who played the character of George Baxter, passed away during the show's fifth season. The producers decided to continue the series, but DeFore's character was written out and never mentioned again. This sudden departure left a void in the show and saddened both the cast and the audience. Despite this tragedy, Hazel continued to air until 1966, becoming a beloved classic in the world of television. The show's simple and relatable humor, along with Shirley Booth's outstanding performance as Hazel Burke, helped it endure and remain a favorite among older viewers. <laughs> Maybe uh, we ought to start off with something a little more academic. If Hazel, the beloved 1961 TV series, holds a special place in your heart, we'd love to hear your stories, share your favorite memories, and the personal impact this series had on you. Whether it brought laughter to your home, inspired your perspective on life, or influenced your love for cinema, we'd love to know. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more cinematic explorations. Your engagement helps us create a vibrant community for film enthusiasts of all ages. Let's cherish and celebrate the classic series that have left their mark on us. Join the conversation and let your voice be heard. Your experiences and insights are invaluable in appreciating the enduring charm of Hazel and other timeless TV series. Together, let's weave a captivating tapestry of memories and stories. Come on in, Frank. Let me take your hat. Thank you, George.